Hello, this video is for Sarah, um, voice of an angel zero zero, I think is her username. Regardless, I'm going to video comment post this to you or her or whoever ends up watching this damn video. Um, I've been watching your eye makeup tutorials a lot because for the last probably, I don't know, seven or eight years, I've been doing strictly eyeliner because when I was born, I was born with a tumor on my face. I'm sure you've noticed that this eye is smaller than this eye. And, you know, I can raise this eyebrow, but I can't raise this eyebrow at all. Um, because I was born with a tumor on my face, right here, above my eye. My eye was swollen shut till I was three. Um, I have had two, have had two plastic surgeries. Um, you can see the scar. Eh. Eh. I don't know which way to go. And, you know, the hair doesn't grow there and whatever. And so if I turn this way, you can see the difference. Like, it, it's still kind of there. I, like I said, I've had two plastic surgeries to get rid of it, but they can't get rid of it without ending up paralyzing this entire side of my face. So, like I was saying, for the last seven or eight years, I've been sticking to merely eyeliner. It's just, you know, I put it on the bottom, not underneath the thing, but on the 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 skin part and um so I've just been doing eyeliner you know on the top and on the on the bottoms um but recently I just kind of got sick of being told that I'm too pretty for all that black on my face that I should start wearing eyeshadow so you know when I friended you on here you know you have all these eye makeup tutorials and I'm like oh cool but see here's the thing I don't think I could pull off any of the looks that you have demonstrated or displayed, if you will, because of my eye, because they're not the same size. And, you know, this lid, you can see much less of this eyelid than this eyelid when my eyes are open. So it's kind of like there's not even really a good way to make it so either that my eyes look like they're the same size or to do a unique eyeshadow look when you can't see a majority of this eyelid. I'm going to put my glasses back on because I can't really see. So I was just wondering if maybe you had any tips or, you know, techniques, if you will. I understand you're not a professional, like you said in your video, but I am interested. You know, I, I do own, I, I understand I don't own a single bottle of nail polish, but I do own... Um, a decent amount for someone who doesn't wear eyeshadow, a decent amount of eyeshadow. Um, and they're all Lancome. So my aunt's a big makeup buff and, you know, I don't speak to her anymore. It's been about three years since I talked to her. So, you know, whatever. Moral of the story is she's got all this expensive makeup and, you know, I've had people, I used to clean houses for a living. They handed me expensive makeup because they were just going to throw it away. So, you know, I have this plethora, if you will, of eyeshadow that I just don't use because I don't really know how to use it and utilize it to the extent in which I need it. So I was just hoping that maybe you had some tips for me. Um, yeah, sorry. Bye. <laughs>